Hey guys, it's your friendly neighborhood teen librarian Carrie from the Rapid City Public Library here with a subscription box video. And this one is if you got the knitting box. You are going to be creating something that looks an awful lot like this. Nice, thick, roll brim hat to keep you warm in these winter months. So let's take a look and see what you got in your box and how to make this hat. Now some knitters like to take their yarn and re-roll it into a ball. And I did that with this one, um, but it's totally up to you if you want to do that. You don't have to, it's just personal preference. Now for your hat, you want to kind of figure out about how big around your head is. Mine's about 20 to 21 inches. And then you want to measure out between two and three times that amount for your knitting tail. So I'm going to measure out about 50 inches and that is the point at which I will make my slip knot which is going to be kind of the first the first loop that you will knit so the first thing we're gonna do is make a slip knot with our yarn we're gonna make a loop kind of like that I'll show you again a loop and then we're gonna pull the string underneath so you can see it through the loop. And when you can see it through the loop, you can kind of pull it through. And that part is gonna be your slip knot. I'll show you one more time. We're gonna make a loop, top string goes under, pull it right through. And that is our slip knot. We're going to take that and we're going to put it onto our knitting needle and then we're going to pull those ends not super tight you still want it to move back and forth but you definitely want it to pretty much stay where you put it now the next thing we're going to talk about is called casting on we're basically putting the loops that we're going to use to knit onto our needle and i'm going to show you how to do that but in order to know how many times to do that we're gonna talk again about how big around your head is. It's about the same number as how much you measured out for your long tail. So I measured a little more than 50 inches for my long tail, so I would then cast on about 50 loops for my hat. And that'll make more sense in just a second. But if your head is smaller than 21 inches, you may only want to cast on about 40 loops. Or if your head is bigger than 21 inches, you may want to end up casting on about 60 or 65. So let's take a look at how to cast on. So the part that you measured out, that's the part that we're going to be working with right now. And we're going to take our hand, we're going to make a thumbs up with our fingers wrapped around that tail yarn. And then you're going to take the yarn and go around your thumb. You're going to start going around in the front and wrap it around the back. You can look at that a couple of times before you try it yourself. Then we're going to take the tip of our knitting needle and put it down on that kind of soft part of your hand, or your thumb and then push it straight up through the loop that you made. You can pull that tight, and then we're gonna take the yarn that's attached to that ball, and we're gonna take it around the needle, starting from the back. We're gonna wrap it around the back first. And then the first loop you made is gonna tuck over that second loop, and that's gonna be what you'll use to knit. So I'm gonna go through all that again. I'm gonna make a thumbs up, holding the tail yarn, wrap it around your thumb, starting in the front first, knitting needle to your bottom of your thumb, scoop it up through that loop and pull, then take the other yarn, wrap it around the back of the needle. You're gonna pull that first loop that you made over the top of the second loop that you made and behind your knitting needle. Round your thumb, knitting needle up through the loop, 
then we're going to take the ball thread around the back of your knitting needle and pull the first loop over the second. And that's going to start putting each of those as a cast on. So I've got three. And as you're casting on the 40 or 50 or 60 that you want, you're going to notice that it's going to be longer than your knitting needle, and that's okay. That's when you will push it out onto the plastic part, and that's what makes these needles so easy. Once you've cast on the full amount, you'll use this marker to tuck it through one of those loops so you'll know that that's one set, one full set. And you can just close it just like that. You won't need this a lot in the beginning, but you'll be happy you have it when we get to the end. And now you're ready to start knitting. We're not going to use the tail yarn anymore. From here out, we're using the yarn that's attached to that ball of yarn. You're going to hold your knitting needle with all of the cast on loops in one hand, and in your other hand with the other needle, you're going to poke it through the bottom of that loop, the front side of the bottom of that loop, and then you're going to wrap your yarn around it, and then you're going to slowly pull that needle back so that the new loop that you made is going to be pulled through the loop that you cast on. And then you push the loop that you had cast on right off the needle. So we're going through the front side of the bottom of the loop, wrap your thread around and pull it through. And then take that loop off of your right hand needle. So left hand needle goes through the loop, wrap the thread around it front to back, pull it through and drop that off of your right hand needle. And this is basically what you're going to do from here on out. That is a basic knitting stitch, and that's what will make up most of your hat. And do that a couple more times so you can see. And when it gets to the point that there's not a lot left on your needle, you just push up a couple more. And as you keep going, you'll push your new loops that you're making off the back of your left hand needle into that loop. And that's the majority of what we're going to be doing here. So once you've gone all the way around, you're going to be ready to actually turn this into a loop. And the way that we are going to do that is something that you're going to do a lot in the course of this hat. We're going to pull out a little bit of this round part of the needle. And that's going to have the effect of pushing all of those loops back onto the right hand needle so that you can continue knitting with them. You can see how that's going to join together and start to make that round shape that we all recognize as a hat. And you'll do this probably every 30 or so stitches for the rest of the hat, and that's okay. Oh, and this is a perfect example to show you that if stitches do drop off your needle, that's okay. Chances are you can pick them right back up, put them right back on. As long as you don't pull, pull them out, you'll be able to fix it. It's okay. And then we just continue knitting. And this is going to start us in that round shape. That'll start to look a little more like a hat than what we've done so far. There we go. Now I've got it through that loop. And here is where they're kind of going to be joining together. And from here on out, we'll be knitting in a circular shape. And now that I've got uh, a couple of those on, I want to go ahead and show you what to do with that stitch marker. So once you've moved past that particular row, you can move your stitch marker up to the row that you just knitted, and that way you'll always know where your first knit stitch is. Um, and like I said, we won't need it so much for the bottom part, so 
but once we get up to the top of your hat, it's going to be important. All right, and then we just get back to knitting. And I'm going to go ahead and show you again how when you when you come to the end of what's on your knitting needle and you want to move more stitches over so you can keep knitting we want to move the stitches onto that plastic part so I'm going to go right where my first stitch is and that's where I'm going to pull out that plastic part and that's going to push the rest of those stitches over to the right side where I want them so I can continue with my knitting. Now to get the shape of your hat, you're basically going to continue knitting, pulling that plastic loop, continuing to knit, and you're going to want to knit until you have six or seven inches. Right now, I don't have very many rows at all, um, but as you go, that will start to grow, and you want about six or seven inches before you move on to kind of the, the last couple rows of your hat where we're going to do something just a little different. When we get the hat to about six or seven inches, what we're going to do instead of knitting every single loop is we're going to knit about seven of them and then we're going to knit two of them together. 